Assalamu alaikum uh, now in this video today we shall learn how to upload an audio content on our LMS because a lot of uh, my respected teachers my friends called me and they are uh, facing problems in uploading the audio content on LMS now for that what we have to do the first thing that we have to do we have to download uh, an audio compressor i repeat we have to download the audio compressor and for that i suggest media converter media converter we have to write this in our google play store now you see when i type the media converter i got this type of file here and you can see its color is green and M is written in blue. So I suggest this one. Then after I get it, I will download it. I will open it. Right? Okay. Now you see there are a lot of options. In my phone memory, there are a lot of files. And in those files, there exist some audio files. You have to identify those audio files and the audios you want to share with your students. Now, this time, let me get an audio file from the uh, folder. Let me let me try to find it here yes i have some audio files in this now you see here it is first aid part one this is the class of this is the class of uh, this is the lesson for class fifth first aid and i have recorded the audio its memory is 12.94 mb when i record it now i will select it because when i try to upload a file on lms it shows me there the file size should be less than 4 MB. Now, the present uh, memory, the present, uh, this lesson has a memory of uh, more than 12. So, I have to necessarily uh, compress it. Now, I have downloaded the compressor. So, uh, after uh, opening the compressor, after opening the file, I will tap on this export mode. You got it? Expert mode. Now, here I have to do nothing. I will scroll down. The Then there is an option. Audio quality. I will tap on this audio quality. Right? Then audio in audio quality, I will select this audio bitrate. Now, I will move the cursor and I will keep it as bitrate as 24. Right? Then I will tap on convert now i have to wait it's getting converted it's being compressed so my dear friends i was required to wait for at least five or six minutes to get the compressed file and it's near completion now you can see above the file size is going to remain around 3.5 MB. I think so because only 22 seconds, 21 seconds are left and my file size is 3.09 right now. So I think its files, file size will remain below 4 and that's what I require. Right? So we have to wait for some more time 5 seconds 4 seconds 3 seconds 2 seconds 1 second and here is my file is 3.23 mb right now i am done with here okay then i will go back i will exit from here now what i have to do i will try to find this file where is this file now i will try to find it from file manager 
ओके सो फ्रॉम फाइल मैनेजर आई विल ट्रू यू सी ए फर्स्ट एड ऑडियो फाइल इन एम पी थ्री फॉर्मेट इज राइट हेयर एंड इट्स साइज इज थ्री पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट थ्री नाइन एम बी हेयर यू कैन फाइंड इट हेयर इट इज दिस वन यस इट्स थ्री पॉइंट थ्री नाइन एम बी नाउ आई विल नॉट ओपन इट सॉरी ओपन इट सॉरी आई विल टे अपॉन इट ओके राइट देन आई विल टे अपॉन दिस सेंड बटन you just keenly watch this video i have tapped on send button now i get different options here i will tap on this save to drive now you see it's it will be saved here in my google drive and i will keep its name as first aid first aid audio compressed right you can name it your way whatever you find feasible then there is your account email id whatever email id you have in your phone and and that name you have a google drive so it will get saved into that account now i will tap on save now it's your one file is being uploaded to google drive it just flashed on my screen now it's in my google drive you got it right now what i need to do i am just uh, tapping on this chrome browser and here i am now i will type it dsek in now you know the procedure how to enter in this lms i have to log in user id password sign in right now here i am now i need to tap on the three lines which exist on the top left corner of the phone and then this dashboard uh, this drop down menu e content related ops i will tap on and then add content now in add content menu i will select the school i need, need to wait till the blue line above completes its round then class it's this class right again a bit wait then stream name it's general 1 to 10 right and then select subject it is this now what is the content type that is study material audio i will tap then uh, title title i will give it as this now this one okay maximum marks i will keep it as zero now here we have to be a bit cautious we have to attach a file now you know you remember it that i uploaded an audio that i recorded and i uploaded that into my google drive just keep that thing in mind now i will tap on choose file then documents right then what we need to do i will tap on these three lines above on the top corner of my phone on the left corner top left corner of my phone then i will tap on this google drive now you see i am having different email ids and i have the google drive is in those names now your phone must be having one email id and uh, uh, google drive on that name now i will tap on that google drive in which i have kept my audio now tap on this then i need to select the uh, the the audio it's this i selected it right but at the same time even if i have chosen the file and i have brought that file here i need to share the external link as well so what i will do i will do one thing when i have to choose the file at the same time yes this is the file now now i i, I will just go back and i will go into my google drive all right you just watch it now when i go back i will tap on the option google drive right and i will open the google drive where my audio is i will tap on the this one and i will tap on copy link now again go back and i will enter into my lms now i will press this and i will paste the link description 
what I have to describe, right? This is this is audio audio of first aid. First aid. Just listen. Then I will submit, right? Now I need to wait for a while. Now you see my friends, content uploaded successfully. Now I, here it shows details, serial number one, this, this, this. Okay. Now I have to check whether my content, this audio file has actually got uploaded into LMS or not. I will, for that, I will tap on e-content related OPS and again on add content, right? Then I will scroll down. You see here, this subject is this, title is this, this is the audio of first aid, just listen to it, what I uh, wrote there in the description column. Now content type is study material audio, download it shows uh, download. That means the audio file is successfully uh, uh, uploaded and uh, the, that exists here and the students can view it. In fact, I can update it, I can delete it. In this way, I can upload the audio, it's here, so I can upload the audio. So this was all about how I can upload audio into my elements. Thanks friends, thanks for watching.